Now, Madam Speaker, if I may just beg the indulgence of the House for a few short minutes, I want to reflect and offer a statement. In 2017, I was member of a caucus that largely voted against the motion, M103, put forth in this House, although nuanced, essentially was a vote against recognizing Islamophobia exists. I was wrong, I'm sorry. And I want not just the Muslim community, but all communities of Edmonton, of Alberta, and Canada to hear me say that Islamophobia is real, Islamophobia does exist within our communities, as witnessed this week at the Bital Hadi Mosque in Edmonton. Since 2017, I've spoken to many who've helped show me what this vote meant to their community. The sense of unbelonging it helped perpetuate, but quite simply, the impact the words and actions we have and make here in this place reverberate throughout our society. I don't want to do this in a self-promoting way. I want to make this statement here in arguably the most important building in our country, that I recognize Islamophobia exists here in Canada. The attack in London was an attack against the Muslim community and an attack on Canadian values. Now, I want my children to also hear this lesson, the lesson that no matter how hard it can be, you can grow. And I needed time to do this, to say this, not only for my children, but for all children of Canada. I want them to see members from all political parties condemning these actions together, because after all, Madam Speaker, we are one Canada, and it's never too late to do the right thing.